Hi, I'm Tom Zalaski for WGNR Furniture's Brighter Dreams Project. And today, we're getting to know some of the recipients of the Brighter Dreams Project. And with us today, Kara Rohr from Lakeshore Cap. She is the Operations and Family Development Director. Kara, thanks so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you, I appreciate it. Much appreciated. Tell us about Lakeshore Cap and your role over there. So Lakeshore Community Action Program is a nonprofit organization. We serve Manitowoc, Door, Kiwani, and Sheboygan counties. And basically our, our job is to eliminate poverty. So our programs that we offer work to um, work with families and individuals on getting them out of poverty and providing supportive services um, and education to help them as they move their way out of poverty. And how long has Lakeshore Cap been in operation? So Lakeshore Cap was founded in 1966 on Washington Island. Um, we expanded our services um, to cover all of Door County, all of Kiwani County in the 1980s. And later 1980s, 1986, we expanded to Manitowoc County and then 1990 Sheboygan County. So who specifically benefits from your services? What population are you geared toward? So our, um, we assist individuals and families with low to moderate income. Um, we provide preventative services and or prevention programs and supportive services um, to help like I stated earlier, to move them out of poverty. And you've got to be facing a lot of challenges in that in that business. What are some of the things you face on a daily basis? Um, I would say just different situations um, that are encountered. We are grant funded, so sometimes when um, we have individuals and families come to us that have some specific needs that maybe can't be covered under specific grants, we you know they all come with criteria eligibility. Um, criteria for those which grant funding is absolutely great um, but we also need some donations or rely on some donations to help with those supportive services that maybe aren't covered under grants. So the Brighter Dreams project that we're talking about today how has Lakeshore Cap benefited from that program? Sure so the Brighter Dreams project has provided beds for our supportive housing and our family development programs at Lakeshore Cap. So families um, and children enrolled in that program are able to receive um, a bed if they need to once they move into an apartment um, or just need a safe place to sleep. Without giving any names, any personal information, um, any stories you can relate as to when someone receives uh, benefits from the, uh, from the Brighter Dreams program? Sure, so we had a family that was enrolled in one of our family development programs, um, our Connections Count program, and our Community Connector had worked with that family. They had been homeless for quite a while, um, residing with family in a small apartment, and our Community Connector worked with them, applied for Section 8 housing, um, ultimately moved into their own apartment, and were able to receive two beds from the Brighter Dreams Project for the two children. Wonderful. How can people uh, help you out? How can they donate either with time or money? What do you need? Sure. So um, on our website, www.lakeshorecap.org, we have a donate button that people can push that and donate to. Otherwise, contact any one of our offices. Um, we have three locations, Sturgeon Bay, Manitowoc, and Sheboygan. All the contact information is on the website for that if they want to contact one of them to donate as well. Kara Rohr, thank you very much from Lakeshore Cap. And if you would like to learn more of these stories, you can find out all about it, about the Brighter Dreams Project, on our website at wgnrfurniture.com.